Hello, welcome back to Sally's Travels. I'm Alice and today we're coming to you from Hay Lane Farm Campsite, which is in Foston in Derbyshire. Let's go and take a look around. <laughs> I'm sorry we didn't get much filming done this evening, but we were very tired, so we went in the shower, had something to eat, watched the film, and then went to bed. Hi everyone, so um, it is quite rainy today, but that's not going to stop us from doing what we've got planned. So first we're going to be heading to Calc Abbey, and we're going to, well weather dependent, we're going to be doing a three mile walk around the grounds. And then after that, we're going to be heading to Kettleston Hall. I'm going to be having a look around the house and everything like that. I'm just going to tell you that both of those places are National Trust, so we might not be able to film loads, but I'll try and get as much as I can for you. Um, so first, before we do any of that, it's campsite tour time. Hay Lane Farm is a beautiful little site with 13 gravel hard standing pitchers. Here we have the drinking water and the showers and toilets. The showers and toilets were all very clean and tidy. The showers were one pound for five minutes that slotted into a little machine and they even had a mop in the corner of the room so that no one left muddy footprints. Here we have some simple signs and the men's showers and toilets which is located in this container. Inside here we have a warm pot wash area so if it's raining you can still wash your pots and you'll be dry. Here we are heading into Cork Abbey, which is part of the National Trust. We are members, so we didn't have to pay. But if you aren't, then check the website for the prices. Then we had a look in some of the shops before heading into Cork Abbey itself. Sir Henry Harper, 7th Baronet, inherited the estate and title from his father in 1789. He finished many works that his father had begun and added his own stamp on Calc. Several new rooms are added and the estate's line works were significantly expanded. When Cork Abbey was handed to the National Trust in 1985, they decided not to restore these rooms, which had been untouched for many years, but rather preserve them as they were once found. Kettleston Hall was always intended as a showpiece rather than a comfortable family home. In fact, the family has lived in the private family wing and still do to this day.
The first floor was used but never lived in by the family. It was built to wow guests with lavish details and luxurious surroundings and to show off how much money the owners actually had. So I'm just going to do a quick review of our night away. So last night we stayed at Hay Lane Farm Campsite, which is located in Foston near Derby. All the there were 13 pitches and they were all hard standing and they all come with electric hook up and we paid £20 to stay there for the night. You can just on arrival you can just take your money up to the house and just give it there them and then you pay for. They have showers on site which are a pound for five minutes they also have toilets and all the facilities are spotless everyone on site is really kind and really friendly and really nice and it doesn't get busy at all like i think there was three other vans on there while we were there so that's good there's also an undercover pot wash area so in case you it's raining and you need to wash your pots that's good this morning we went to Cork Abbey, which is owned by the National Trust and when the National Trust got it, instead of restoring it and making it beautiful again, they left it how it was when they got it. So it is like this paint peeling off the walls and it is how they got it, um, but it is completely safe because they keep it maintained and they keep it safe for everyone to go and visit. And then this afternoon we went to um, Kedleston Hall which is come on the complete opposite end of the scale it's really luxurious there's big marble rooms there's lots of gold and it's just it was made just to show off how rich the people were that owned it so it's very very different but overall I think we'll be returning to both of those places and we'll definitely be returning to the campsite um, so we've had a really good night um, night away and yeah so we hope you like this video consider subscribing if you haven't already drop us a comment below and we'll see you on the next one bye